Welcome to Hazen, Arkansas. The White River Bridge is a $100 million contract with the Arkansas Department of Transportation in a joint venture between Parsons Construction Group and C.J. Mahan Construction. The project is located about 45 miles east of Little Rock along I-40, which is a major shipping corridor for 18-wheeler traffic. The existing White River Bridge on I-40 here, it's definitely reached its service life. It's exposed rebar, cracks, potholes. Part of the process of preparing for new construction is we create a work plan and we create a safety plan that should, should address every step and every risk that we expect to encounter during that process. Every, every construction project starts off with a set of drawings and when you start looking at the drawings, some of the challenges that you see are not always obvious. At Parsons, that's one of the things that we do best is to, to be able to deconstruct these potential issues and turn them into ways to create opportunities. The White River Bridge project presented its own unique challenges, including the rebar handling for the, the long rebar cages, the template for the drilled shafts, the high water elevations and how we had to be able to deal with fluctuating water elevations, and the precast hub installation for the water pier. Prior to letting the White River Bridge project, Arkansas DOT recognized that there was an existing fiber optic line that went underneath the river and it was going to conflict with the new bridge location. The fiber optic line was relocated underneath the river, but in close proximity to our future drilled shafts. To mitigate this challenge, Parsons designed a drilled shaft template that cantilevered over the top of the fiber optic line to avoid potential issues. Because the template worked in, in cantilever, we experienced differential deflections, and so we had to use hydraulic jacks to support the, the casings for the drilled shaft. It was an unusual application of hydraulic jacks, but it was the only way that we could ensure that we had equal load distribution around the casing. Picking the rebar cages has always been a challenge. As we're picking the cage, the cage is buckled. To avoid this problem, the construction engineering team developed a spine and collar system that stabilizes the cage as we're lifting it, which results in a much safer operation for rebar cage tilting and setting. We're implementing drones in, in the use of some of our inspections. We had an instance where we needed to fly a drone up high so we could see what was happening on top of a crane boom. Once we got up there, we were able to reverse engineer by measuring the geometry off of the photograph they collected from the drone and verify that everything was still in safe working order. Some of the innovative technologies that we are implementing on the project include Paradigm, which is the Parson BIM platform, and artificial intelligence scheduling. While we're using the software, running it in parallel with our normal scheduling activities to analyze and optimize the utilization of our critical path and resources on the job. The elevation of the pile cap is basically very close to the level of the water, which varies quite significantly during the seasons. And, uh, and because of uh, this precast shell, we were able to construct the, the pile cap without uh, having the conventional formwork floating in the water. I feel we've come together as a group, as a family, and we're completing the job. And most importantly, we are doing it safe. I've known the Parsons guys uh, since 2012. Between the two companies, we just hit it off real well because we were real similar cultures and uh, we just have had a great working relationship over the last several years. You don't get to the kind of safety, culture, and low recordable incident rate that we have by accident. We've come a long way making a goal for the project, for everybody involved in the project, be it the crews, be it management, to really have a zero incident job site and uh, taking whatever measures are necessary to achieve that. This project is just one example of how Parsons is putting our Parsons Plus on a new and unique challenge in the state of Arkansas. Every project we work on has unique obstacles and challenges, and one thing that we do great at Parsons is we find out what those challenges are and we come up with a solution to overcome them. <laughs>